new details from the de defamation case. Our own Chanley Painter sits down for a one-on-one -on -one with Depp's lead attorney, Benjamin Chu. After the break, we will hear some of his thoughts regarding the trial and the verdict. We were anxious, but we cut the anxiety by playing a ferocious game of Monopoly in our room. So that's, it distracted us sufficiently, but we were, we were still thinking about the verdict. D200 now. Blockbuster defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is now over. It took the jury just over 12 hours of deliberation to find that Johnny Depp proved all elements of his defamation case against his ex-wife Amber Heard. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Heard. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. For more on this story, we're going to bring in our own Court TV legal correspondent, Chanley Painter, live in New York. Chanley, great to see you. I know that earlier today, you had an opportunity to speak with Depp's lead attorney, Benjamin Chu. I know that's going to all air tonight during primetime, but what can you tell us to give us an idea of how that went? Hey, good afternoon, Ashley. That's right. Just right here in this office, I sat down with the lead attorney for Johnny Depp, Benjamin Chu, who we shared a few gummy bears together and talked about this case in depth. Of course, I was limited on the amount of time I had with him. I could have talked to him all day long about all of the things that happened over the years leading up to the trial and, of course, during this trial. But we wanted to start with this verdict because this verdict for Depp's team was a huge win, something they had been working hard for, but they weren't 100% sure they would achieve, knowing that it was a high burden to reach that verdict. And so we started with what that verdict meant to uh, Ben Chu, and he also also addresses the split verdict because this jury did find one of the statements in the countersuit defamed Amber Heard. So I want to share with you a piece uh, from my interview with Benjamin Chu talking about this verdict. Let's watch. Ben Chu, the lead attorney for Johnny Depp, thank you for being with me today. I know I don't have a, much of your time, so let's get straight to the questions. I have to start with this verdict, a huge verdict for you. Take us back to those moments. What was going through your mind? Well, first of all, Chanley, thank you so much for having, having me today. Um, when the verdict came in, our hearts were in our throats. We, we were hopeful, but not presumptuous, so we were, we were really sweating it out. It took nearly 13 hours for the jury to reach this verdict. And as an attorney, I know that can be, you know, really anxiousness going through what you were thinking. Uh, can you take us to that moment? Were you, were you having any doubts in those hours of deliberations? We were, we were anxious, but we cut the anxiety by playing a ferocious game of Monopoly in our room. So that's, it distracted us sufficiently, but we were, we were still thinking about the verdict. Sure. And of course we had this false start, if you will. We're all gathered in the courtroom, it's almost three o'clock, and the jury didn't fill out the damages portion of the verdict form. When you find for a defamatory statement, um, one or more, you need to fill out the compensatory damages. It has to be at least a dollar for compensatory damages and up to whatever you feel the damages should be. And for punitive damages, you can put a zero there or you can fill out that as well, but I'd need those uh, lines filled out, okay? All right, so if I can have you retire back to the deliberation room and do that for me, okay? You guys approach the bench with the judge. What did she say in that moment? Did you know what was happening in that moment or what the verdict may have been? We didn't, and it, we were hoping that she might give us some clues, but she's played it straight down the line and said that the jury had 
reached a verdict on, as to one of the statements but had not filled out a damage and she was apprising counsel for both sides that, that her of her intent to orally instruct them to put in a damages number but we didn't know whether that was a statement on the counterclaim or one of the affirmative three step, uh, statements in Mr. Depp's case. But you knew someone had at least one a statement against the we other. Knew that Did you have some, a good feeling? Um, we didn't dare have a good feeling. We felt really good about how the evidence came in, and we thought Johnny did a magnificent job finally having his say. But uh, the jury was very hard, at least very hard for us to read. Sure. Uh, let's talk more about this verdict. This, it's a split verdict, right? I mean, an overwhelming win for your team. The jury clearly believing Johnny Depp's version of events, but they did also find at least one of those statements in the countersuit said by Adam Waldman, the attorney for Johnny Depp, was defamatory towards Amber Heard. How do you make sense of that? Well, I, I think it actually is consistent, and I would agree with your characterization. This is an overwhelming victory for Johnny as to all three of his statements and as to two of the three statements at issue in the counterclaims in which Mr. Waldman characterized Ms. Hurd's claims as a hoax. I think that as to the one that the jury found liability on, it was a convoluted statement with a lot of moving pieces in it about what Amber's friends did on that particular night, May 21, 2006, uh, 2000, uh, yeah, 16. So uh, that was really very difficult to prove. So that was not a total surprise, nor do I think it was in any way inconsistent with what the jury did in affirming Johnny's claims and in knocking out the other two. Ashley, I also learned where Johnny Depp was at the exact time the verdict was rendered and announced before the world. He was actually in a pub in the UK. Of course, his prior work obligation there to be on tour playing music with Jeff Beck, which he's been doing ever since he did leave Virginia. And we also talked about you know what this verdict meant for Johnny Depp. There was a time, Ashley, where Ben Chu became emotional. Tears welled up in his eyes. I'm going to tell you more details about that later on when this does play out 8 p.m. tonight on Closing Arguments. I can't wait to watch the entire interview. And let me just tell you, Chanley, what stood out to me, and that is we all know when you prepare for any trial, much less one of this magnitude, you are focused, you are, you are dialed in when you're in that courtroom. But watching him speak with you, he just seemed like such a, a nice, smart, but pretty laid back guy. He is. He's such an affable guy, and he was like that the entire trial, no matter who you were. If you were a spectator who waited hours and hours and hours to have a seat inside the gallery of the courtroom, he would smile and greet you inside the courtroom. He was someone that showed um, his experience as an attorney and, and his professionalism, too, with the other side. Herd's attorneys. I would, at times, see him greet the other attorneys as they entered the courtroom in the morning, actually even complimenting one day the blazer that Elaine Bredhoff wore. And that says a lot about Ben Chu as a person. And so you can really tell that he believed his client. He still believes his client and his story of Johnny Depp. And he, that really did show throughout the entire interview earlier today. And I have to say, Chanley, it is a little old school. What I mean by that is the professionalism and respect shown to everyone around you, regardless of what your client's position is, regardless of how much you believe in your client's position. So what a treat to see him in this capacity. And of course, Chanley, I cannot wait to see the full interview. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Of course, for all of you viewers, the full interview will air tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on Closing Arguments with Vinnie Politan. This is an interview I promise you will not want to miss.